The flag is back up. What was the decision to have it fly again this morning? So our objective was to create an opportunity for a discussion on campus, free of a symbol that was very disruptive to that discussion. And we have started that over the past week. Uh, I've been involved in more than 15 uh, discussions with students, staff, and faculty. But the noise of the reaction was becoming very distracting. And it seemed like it made more sense at this point to put the flag back up so we could continue talking about the issues. So were you calling the American flag a disruption? It is um, for some of the people on campus uh, for whom it represents uh, the experiences they've had with racism and, and uh, uh, injustice. Um, it is a very frightening symbol. And by removing that, we wanted to be able to talk about the underlying issues. For other people on campus and off campus, it's a very positive symbol. And at this point, it was time to uh, get it back up and be able to have the conversation without the distraction of uh, all, all of that noise. Why did you decide to listen to the students who view the flag as a disruption rather than those who view it as a good thing, a symbol of freedom and whatever else you want to call the American flag? So I wanted to have a temporary period in which we recognize the way people have lived with fear for many, many, many years. And, you know, this is an exercise of free speech. Uh, and uh, that's a, a positive experience for students to have. Um, but it was difficult in these circumstances. What was, this, what, what was the decision this morning, Friday morning, to finally put it up? I know it's been a few weeks now, and you've yeah. probably heard from a lot of people over those weeks, like you said, but what was the decision today, this morning, to put it up? Why Friday? Uh, because we had a chance to go through some of these discussions, talk with people on campus, and it seemed like the right time. A lot of people on campus were experiencing just a continuous th flow of, of threats and very angry mail and some, some really scary stuff, and I just decided it's time to stop that. Now, I also understand you had a few run-in, so to speak, with national media that was here. Can you talk about that and if that played any role into putting it back up today? Well, I had a little home invasion by Fox News. That was just funny. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's silly if they do their journalism by forcing their way into people's homes and shouting things at them. Why do you think this gained so much national attention, even from President-elect Donald Trump over the flag burning? I, I can't answer that question. Yeah. It was unexpected to me. For you, as, as an American, what does the American flag mean to you? So I, I grew up in circumstances where it was a, a symbol of uh, freedom and the aspirations of okay. the country, and it continues to mean that to me. But I try to maintain in my heart at the same time the recognition that people who grew up in very different circumstances and who woke up every morning afraid see it differently. Now, you just spoke with the leader of the veterans organization that led the protest last Sunday. What did you talk to him about, and um, are you going to let them have some kind of gathering here this coming weekend? So I want to set up a process in which we're talking to our neighbors here as well about the underlying issues, and certainly hope to go forward with that, um, including with him. What kind of conversations and what did you hear from people during all of your meetings over the past few weeks that the flag has been down? Why did you decide that this was the time now to, to put it back up? Like, what did they say in those meetings? I heard a tremendous range of things. I mean, it's too much to summarize. A range of views about the flag, about the underlying issues, about their capacity to continue to do their work surrounded by the protests. Did the fact that so much media attention surrounding this issue uh, play into when you decided to put up the flag again? Well, the, the media attention was a reflection of the broader uh, reaction, and, and that certainly created an enormous distraction for the campus. I understand you're supposed to have a phone conversation with Springfield Mayor Dominic Sarno. Did you have that actually this morning yet, or did you? Are you? Do you plan on talking to him still? I. I do. I think it's after 10 o'clock this morning.
So what do you plan on saying in that conversation to him? Uh, he asked for the phone call, uh, but I'll certainly uh, tell him uh, that we've raised the flag and why. Anything else you'd like to add to people who may not be as understanding about what happened at Hampshire <coughs> College as students are and, and you are here? We are trying to exercise rights uh, that are assured to every American under the Constitution in a peaceful and thoughtful way. We, we teach crit critical thinking. Um, and we didn't intend to be making a political statement or attacking people's beliefs in the flag. And to the extent that hurt people, we really regret that. How about for maybe parents who may be fearful that Hampshire College now has a different type of reputation after this being in the media for a few weeks. Their student, their children graduating from here may be afraid that they won't get a job or something if people see Hampshire College. Is that a fear at all? I don't think that's a realistic fear, no. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Good to see you.